Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, as you can see, a few changes everywhere, as you can see. New logo, new title. So, I'll say it again. Hi guys, and welcome to Pino's Garage. <laughs> We've heard that before. Oh, watch this clip. Hi, welcome to Pino's Garage. Um, today I'm going to be talking to you about a product that I'm doing at the moment. It's a Bandit 600. Wow, a bit younger there, wasn't I? That was scary. <laughs> anyway, as we said in the titles now, we're going to be doing lots of other stuff as well as cars, classic cars, RD and Arlo. You're going to see plenty of them, uh, and hopefully other people's vehicles as well. Uh, they're classics, they're cars, they're dailies, anything, anything that's motoring, that's the whole idea of this channel. So, what am I doing here, standing in front of this uh, ZZR600? Well, this is a friend's bike. Um... And he had a little problem, and it was down to do with the exhaust. Uh, the headers, they come down, the four headers come down into a collector box on the bottom of these ZZR 400, 600, sorry. I did have a 400 one of these. Um, and they rot out at the bottom, salt off the roads, because a lot of people use them as hacks. So they get, they rot, and you eventually get a blowy, blowy exhaust. <laughs> what he's done. I told him, I found these for, for him on eBay, uh, stainless steel, set of stainless steel ones. So yeah, they're not going to rot for him and he'll get, he'll definitely get plenty of years out of these, uh, probably longer than the bike to be honest. So yeah, I do have to apologise for the state of my garage. Yeah, not very tidy. Unfortunately, my daughter's in the middle of moving, so we've acquired a lot of stuff. Um, so yeah, so I thought what I'm going to do on this one is is you can follow me on the journey as i strip it down uh get out the other front fairing off uh cooler the radiator has got to come off the oil cooler has got to come out of the way so then i can get to the bolts to the headers and then we can strip them down so thought it'd be something different so without further ado let's get on with it Right guys, as you can see, I've already started to strip side panels. There's lots of them on these ZZRs, uh, as you can see over there. Uh, lots of side panels, uh, bottom belly ones already off. So yes, the next job for me to do is to take the mirrors, the mirrors off there. I don't know if you can see those bolts, uh, both sides. And then I, I think there is a couple underneath, if I remember rightly. I have stripped a few of these. And then we can uh, get the whole of that fairing off. And the front bit. So I can get down. And get a bit more access to the oil cooler and the radiator. Which is just behind there. I don't know if you can just make it out. And you can see the headers where they are there. I've already cracked off the outer ones. I wanted to see how rusted <laughs> they are. And to be fair, they came off pretty well. So being as uh, this has got a lot of fairings, hopefully that saved the other ones and hopefully I shouldn't have too much trouble with them. So, right, let's get cracking. Not really much for you to see here. Um, let's try and get in. See if I'm going to these. They are quite tight in there. Right, that's not going to work. I need to find a spanner. Got some ten mil nuts down here. Right, there we go. Tip. Save illusion. I do have them magnetic dishes for nuts and bolts, but I always find quick tip is just. Stick them back on what they came off. That way then, less, less chance of losing them. But famous last words in my garage. Right. Second side. Ooh. That was loose. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. 
there are of these ratchet spanners that really, really are useful uh, when you can get them in there. No, oh, right. Again, stick them back on. We don't lose them. All right. Now, I need to have a look. I'm pretty sure. Yep, there we go. Just put that down. So I've just got some unclipping the clips to do. Indicators. Clocks. Headlight. There we have it. One front fairing off. I'll sit that there. I will put it somewhere safer than that. Uh. Oh, that was nice and loose. So, just need to capture that nut. There we go. Again, sticking the nuts <laughs> wherever I can. It's always good to keep your nuts in one place. So, another panel. So, what have we got? Uh, okay. Yeah, it's been such a long time since I've done one of these, uh, probably about 15 years. Um, so, I may have to remind myself. So, back in a minute. Right, so off camera, as you saw me remove the side panel, I then removed separately the air induct that goes on the ZZR e, ZR600Es. The D's didn't have these, so I then went around the other side. I thought, hang on a minute, that's all together. So, save myself a bit of time. I just took the whole lot off all together, which is good because it keeps things together, which is what we like. And it's also given me access, better access to these. I don't know whether you can see that actually. Uh, do, do, do. Get you in there. This bolt here, exactly the same on the other side, which is to the radiator. And one extra thing I do need to undo. Yep, is I'm going to have to undo. Let's make this easier. Show you what I'm looking at. So that bolt there. Now all these, the oil cooler is actually attached to the bottom of the of this, um, so it should all come off together. Now I want, don't want to really drain any coolant, so if I undo it there, that should come with this, and I'm hoping I can just rest it down out the way, just enough for me to get to all the bolts there. I've got to take the silencers and everything off first. That's what I will do, obviously. Um, but yeah, for now, I'll get those, these bolts undone, that undone, and see if we can just drop it all down.
fine. We might get a bit of water. Right. Right, off camera, I've um, removed oh, the oil cooler and the radiator. So I've just got them resting there, so now I can get to the header bolts. <laughs> May need to take the bracket off, which holds the oil cooler and the radiator. But I'm just going to try and crack a couple of these. See whether they're going to crack. Wish me luck. Oh. That one's loose. That one's going. That one's ready loose because I already did it. This one looks rusted. Oh. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Let's go around the other side. Oh, ooh, I like that sound. Sometimes I don't, sometimes I do. Right, so that's one, two, three, four, five. Six. Oh. We're going to read our cow number seven. Oh. Oh. And obviously number eight I'd already cracked off, so I know. Wow. Right, okay. I'm not going to take them any further. Because obviously I need to get the resilencers off. So I'm still going to soak all these now. Bit of double tea and leave them overnight.